I love fashion ever since I could remember. When I was a little girl, I dreamed about wearing all of these beautiful designer pieces. I remember teaching myself how to sew and I would take pieces that I already owned that I wanted to zhuzh up a little bit and I'd combine them with some vintage pieces that my grandmother or my mom handed down to me and I created things that were 100% unique and it made me feel so proud to wear these pieces and I always dreamed of having a beautiful closet that I can display these pieces in but growing up up, I had a really teeny tiny closet in my family home that couldn't fit a lot so even back then it was really important for me to learn how to maximize my space to organize things in such a way where they would just look really beautiful and clean and very aesthetically pleasing to the eye so I wanted to share with you some of my tips and tricks that I've learned along the way after all of these years that I think you could apply whether you have a small closet or a large closet, I think these tips and tricks will be helpful for everyone. So the first tip that I wanted to share with you is something that I do very, very regularly now, and that is to go through my closet and do a clear out. So I look through all of the pieces that I already own and I ask myself if I have worn this item in the last year, if I plan on wearing it in the near future, is it something that gets me excited to wear? Is it something that I can mix and match with different items in my closet? Is it something that makes me feel good? And if the answer is no to most of those questions, Questions, then I often set it aside and I will either collect it in a bag that I will later donate to people in need or I will give it to friends or family or I will sell it on my closet sale website so if you guys don't know I do have a closet sale website where I am constantly listing new items for sale on there I will leave the link for it across the screen here and also in my description box down below but I find that this is a great way for me to stay on top of the pieces that I already own and allows me to keep my closet looking clean and organized. If you don't have a website of your own, of course, you can use a platform such as Depop. This was my personal preferred way of selling pre loved things to help me clear out my closet. So Depop is a great app for that. And I think doing regular clear outs of your closet will really help you see what you have much better so that you are not over purchasing things that you don't need, which is something that I have been guilty of. And I've accumulated way too much clothes for a regular person. So this process has really, really helped me out and has helped me keep my closet looking really clean. The next tip I wanted to share with you is to put all of your storage boxes away. What I mean by storage boxes are the boxes that usually shoes or handbags come in when you purchase them from a store. I know that a lot of people like to use these boxes as display pieces in their closet, but for me personally, I find that this design aesthetic is overdone and it also distracts and takes attention away from a clean and minimalistic look. Now this is totally subjective. If you love displaying luxury boxes in your closet and you think it looks good, then you do you. This is just my personal opinion and I personally like to put my storage boxes away where I cannot see them. That way everything in my closet just looks a lot cleaner. My next tip is to invest in velvet hangers. For the longest time, I used to use the conventional hangers that most people use, the plastic ones. And the problem that I find with the plastic ones is that they never really look right in a closet. They take up a lot of space. They're usually super bulky. They usually break very easily and it's really hard to make everything in your closet look very clean and streamlined when you have all of these 
plastic mismatched colored hangers. So I decided to swap most of my hangers for velvet hangers because I feel like they save a lot of space. They look really, really beautiful and high quality. And another bonus is that because of the velvety material, it really prevents clothing from slipping and falling off the hangers. How many of you have the pet peeve when you open up your closet and you have clothes laying all over the floor because they fell off the hanger? So I find that velvet hangers really help prevent that for me and I just think aesthetically it looks really clean and beautiful. They're also really inexpensive so if you guys are looking for good quality velvet hangers I found mine on Amazon so I will try to find them again and link them down below. One of the things that I have been doing for years is sorting my clothing by color and I feel like this has not only made my closet look a lot more aesthetically beautiful, but it really helps me see what I'm looking for. So the way that I like to color organize my pieces is go from light to dark. So I will start off with the whites and then I'll go into the creams and the beiges and then the colors in the middle and usually towards the end are the grays and the navies and the blacks. So this also keeps all of my pieces organized in such a way that I know if I need a navy turtleneck sweater, I know exactly where to look for that. If I need a white sweater, which I have a lot of, it keeps those pieces in one place so I can go through them really, really quickly and find exactly what I'm looking for. Another clothing item that I like to organize by color is denim. I know a lot of people have different methods of how they like to store their denim. A lot of people like to fold their denim and stack it on top, but I'm the kind of person that doesn't really wear a lot of different styles of denim. I don't really wear bell bottoms or skinny jeans. I usually stick to high-waisted or mid-rise denim with more of a tapered leg at the bottom. So all of my denim is relatively similar in terms of style. The only thing that kind of differentiates my denim is the bottom of the hem. So some of my denim has a frayed hem or a cuffed hem or just like a regular straight hem. So when I have them hanged over a hanger in this way, it really allows me to quickly see what denim I have and I can figure out what denim will go with the look that I'm trying to style. So that's the main reason why I like to organize my denim by color, going from white to light wash, medium wash, dark wash, and black. That way I can easily see exactly what color I want. And when I pull the denim on the hanger, I can see what the bottom of the denim looks like. So I live in Toronto, Canada, and we have four seasons. We have spring, summer, fall, winter. So for me, I find that it's important to have different styles of shoes. Now, if you live in a place such as California where you don't really have winter, you probably don't own a lot of different style shoes such as boots and booties. But for me, because we have these four seasons, it's really important for me to own boots for the winter time and sandals in the spring and summer time. So that's why I have a lot of different style of shoes. So the way that I like to organize my shoes is by type. So I have all my sneakers together, all my flats together, my sandals together, my pumps together, my boots together. That way I can easily find what I'm looking for and dress according to the weather. And in my opinion, I also think that aesthetically it looks really, really beautiful to have my shoes organized in this way. When it comes to organizing my handbags, I find that with the space that I'm working with, I like to organize them by size. So I will stack them kind of on a shelf like books and I will start off with the larger handbag on one side and then I will place the handbags going down by size next to it. And I feel like this tip is really, really useful if you have a smaller space that you're working with and you don't have a a lot of shelf space. Now, in my current closet, I have a lot of shelf space, but the way that this closet was designed, whoever built this closet, they didn't really think through a lot of things. So even though I have a lot of space, I really need to be strategic with how I store my handbags in such a way that they're not gonna get ruined because 
the layout wasn't thought out properly. So I feel like this tip would work whether you have a small space or you have a larger closet that didn't have a lot of thought put into it. Storing your handbags in this way, I feel will help you make sure that they are safe and protected and will not get ruined. And it makes it easy to see what you have. And aesthetically, I think this is a very neat way to store handbags. And my last tip for making your closet space look beautiful if you have the space is to add up lighting now the closet that i used to have growing up in my family home had absolutely no space for up lighting but if you have somewhat of like a walk-in closet it doesn't have to be big but just adding some up lighting to a walk-in closet no matter how big it is is automatically going to make it look a lot more beautiful it's going to make your shelves and your hanging space kind of look like a store setup so you know when you walk into a beautiful store they have that beautiful lighting going around the shelves to highlight the shoes or the up lighting that goes around the hanging space so not only does this lighting look really really beautiful and kind of illuminate the space but it's also really functional because it allows you to see your pieces in a more realistic lighting situation and it will help you get dressed a lot easier and it will allow you to see what you have a lot easier as well so in this closet i only have a light coming from the top but for those of you who don't know we are currently in the process of moving into a new house so my new closet will have built-in lighting that will go all around the shelves of course if you don't have this if you don't have a custom closet then you can also purchase these led strip lights that are meant for things like this really inexpensively on amazon so of course i will look for some options that could work for a closet to help you make your closet look beautiful and aesthetically pleasing and i will link them down below so those are my tips and tricks on how to make your closet look more beautiful whether you have a really small space that you're working with or a large space that you're working with i hope that these tips and tricks will help you get the most out of your space and really really enjoy it if you enjoyed this video it means so much to me if you could give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as always i want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and i will see you in my next one